Uh, hi, everybody. It's the Steiger Olson Report with Wayne Steiger and Steve Olson. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Steve. Can't get enough of this uh, marathon key footage, can you? I cannot. And actually, I am the one pushing this. So for the record, I'm the one that um, am going to make this statement. Steve can make his own. But Steve, I believe what we have here is, in my estimation, the most compelling evidence that something is happening to our sun and subsequently our solar system. All right, now, Wayne, we'll present your evidence. All right, I have stills of this, but for the record, so everyone knows what's happened here. I'm going to show you what I have done so that you can see is here I've slowed the anti-flickering, all motion, and spatial blur. I've come over here. I'm in the negative colors. And I've gone over here and in turn hit the sharpen. So you can now see. You can see where my gamma is set my saturation, my contrast, brightness, and hue. You can see where my sigma is as well, so that everyone now knows what I'm looking at. For the record, what this camera is picking up, as all cameras do, in this particular filter, it is picking up heat. You understand, Steve? Heat. And the density of our colors are the heat signatures, all right? So the sun obviously is extremely dense, right? And right. Heat. That's why it's really black in this filter because it's the hottest thing up there. It is. Now, I am saying that this is not a lens flare, nor is this. In fact, I found this video compelling on several fronts. Number one, what we have seen in so many pictures around the world is not the lens flare, but it is in fact coming off this object right here. All right, so we're going to advance this as well. I have this down so that everyone can see. I go up here to my playback speed and it is at 10%. I don't wanna hit it because it will go down lower than that from here. Let's watch. Now, very important that you saw that those clouds were in front of the sun, right? It's the way it should be. Stop right there. These clouds are in front of this. These clouds are in front of this. These clouds are in front of this. And what's so interesting is that look at what's happened with that same little object but it gets better, Steve. Yeah, the lens flare didn't go away when the sun got covered. Yeah, and so what happened here, again, is we talked about heat, this is where the clouds are. People don't realize that clouds are cool, and they'll show up on the camera as well. You can see. Watch this, Steve. And okay, the clouds clear away. Yep, clouds connected, but watch this, Steve. Watch the sun. Bingo, right here, ladies and gentlemen. There is a reaction taking place right here, Steve. I don't know what it is, but there is a reaction building. Now watch. Right there, you see the density? Boom. Whoa. Let me explain the camera completely. It did, Steve, and look at the density of when you see the densities of colors of this folks there has just been i believe what we're seeing steve is not in so much maybe in the ir but in the uv right this is really bright everybody what it's remember we've got the uh the inverted color so that we can see other objects and things like that more clearly and boom um that is super bright super intense release of energy i mean just think of how much energy it would take for that to, to show up like that. It's, it over, yeah, it just overwhelmed the optics completely. Something happened here. I don't know what, 
But something happened here, Steve. And again, well, the problem to me is it seems like it, it's it's arcing to something in the back of it, and it at, that field line ends right at the contour of a, of what it seems like is another big freaking ass orb. Yeah. So here's the normal. Here it's is. The, and again, <clears throat> we have just not figured out. And if you look at this, this. And this are connected. It's a straight line. Yeah. Now watch. Steve, this is probably some of the most phenomenal footage I have seen. And when I, I got confused here. But look at, this is almost as though this object has an atmosphere. Like a gas cloud type. Yes. Formation. Yes. Yeah. And, the, and its contour or its texture looks very similar to what we caught with our balloon flights. This is not the sun. This no, is, you can point. You can point. It, it gives you variables to point at. Point with it. And then let's look at our sun here. Yep. Wow. I this is Steve. Just, Steve I don't think that the. And you can clearly see this again is connected to here. I know. So let's continue. Yep. All right. In the coming frames, I cut it off. Oh my! There it is, folks. Yeah. It is. Now, um, here again, I took that same program, right, Steve? Yep. And this is turning the gamma almost to zero. So if there's anything that's going to be really picked up, it's going to be solid. You know what I'm saying? It's got to have some sort of density to it. Otherwise, the camera, the gamma would just take it out. Look at this. This, is, this. this has an atmosphere, and you can see here clearly now. Look at that, Steve. That and that. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. That's just, that, it's just, wow. And yeah. then again, that is proving right there that there is a reflection going on there somewhere, you know, on that orb. There's no yeah. other way to say it. No other way of analyzing this, Stephen. There is the explosion. And folks, look what it did to the camera. I mean, the camera picked up waves here, Steve. Yeah, it, it like even the camera had to just stop it's it's exposure it just and it was picking it up overwhelmed the optics yeah it did it just shut it out it shut the aperture off look at this wow and then look at the tendril on top yes look at this here and here what the it's almost as if steve it's it's either discharging or trying to connect i don't know which probably both probably both for all we know right but like a little plasma tornado. Yep. Now here is again, we added just a hair of gamma. So we can see more universally what's going on. Yep. And here you can really see this and this. Look at the intensity of this little sucker. This thing is hot. But no, not only that, Wayne, it's the intensities in the middle but then it has a white spot all the way around it, like that white frame. That would indicate that it's cool or not producing light. Exactly. It tells me that um, we're seeing either a core and reaction, but this is solid. This is a real object. I don't know what it is, but I know I can see it has a weird effect here. Yeah, we've been seeing that weird effect for a while, but this 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 kind of a, a manifestation of oh gosh, man, that's so just here's brutal. the plasma build up here. There is something building yeah. up right here. Right on, I I agree. And there's the result. Boom! Boom! Hello. Look at that. Just fascinating. Fascinating. This is worthy of just. Putting it up with, uh, you know, having a two video, two part video on this as we discover colors and oh, it's, it's really showing one really like monochromatic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you no, are yeah. right. Hello, the Matrix, you know? Yeah, hello, the Matrix. Exactly. But look at this, Steve. And then all of a sudden, 
just watch it discharge up on the upper right, everybody. That's what you got to watch for. It starts to like there's a there's a connection starting, and then that connection is going to close in. Boom, boom, doc. And the question would next question would be why didn't everybody in Florida see a big flash bulb flash? I think they probably did, but they didn't recognize. Listen, if this is possibly in the UV, right? Right. Everybody's wearing sunglasses in Florida. Exactly. You wouldn't notice it. You know what your optics would pick up? It would be so quick that it would it would be a flash, but you wouldn't recognize it. It's this that there's only three seconds to this video. This is cray cray. So your eye, the human optic nerve, would not pick it up, Steve. Cray cray. That's it my word is. for it. I, I don't know what's going on here. Listen. And, you know, and just to show everyone, uh, just to close. Well, we'd like everybody's ideas. That's why we have these channels is for yep. people to give their feedback and learn from each other. And that's why we, quite frankly, that's why we come across such compelling footage is because we work and collaborate as a team with our subscribers. That's how we get to this stuff. So we're gonna, just going to run this now. And um, let me go up here and we'll get it out of uh, playback and we'll just go back to normal speed. Normal speed. Got it. So, all right. It's just this quick. You wouldn't, you, you, the human optics wouldn't pick that up, Steve. Yeah, and I mean, just the fact that we caught it was just because the camera was open right at the right time, too. Now, you know why I know this is real? Look at how it hits the fauna. And look what it's doing to the cars. Yeah, it's like, it's like super reflecting off of it. It is. And, and again, you would not notice this. It would be so quick that, the, again, your optics, it would be a flash. Listen, it's like watching a film. You know, film is 35 miller, milli, millimeter is how many frames per second? Well, it's 30 frames per second. And you, you can't, the human optics can't pick it up that quick. It yeah, is. That's yeah. why movie theaters work so well in humans. It does. So, Steve, this is some of the most compelling evidence, and I do not know what this is, but it's out there, whatever it is. That it is looks like not, some kind of huge gas ball to me. I think it has. I think it has an atmosphere as well. Yeah, but you know what though? This is where this is where all the disinformation comes in. So it's like we see an obvious thing, and now the debate begins. Like one person will say it's a spaceship, but another person is like, you know what? I don't think that I, we're going to have to debate this stuff much longer if this kind of manifestation continues. I want you to watch. So this comes in and... Look at those tendrils. Oh, my. It's just amazing. Oh my. And what you can see with this vehicle down here, when he pulls up, watch. Okay. So he's going to pull up here. Okay. Parks his car. Parks his car. And look, we're not seeing anything that's unusual here. No. Yep. Oops. It goes this. There we go. Look at this. It picks it up on the vehicle. Right. That is definitely a discharge in the sky that causes a momentary flash of energy and light, UV yes. light. So people... Heads up. Um, I mean, this is, this is like that big orb there. You're like going, what is that? Yeah, you know, you would think that one would be excited about this, but what I was excited about was this. It was like, wow, we actually caught a discharge. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, and thank you. Again, Teresa Caldwell, shout out to her, man. Uh, this got to me by way of one of my subscribers. Teresa, shouting out to you. Thank you, honey, for this. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's why it didn't go away when the sun got covered. Yeah. And so what happened here, again, is we talked about heat. This is where the clouds are. People don't realize that clouds are cool, and they'll show up on the camera as well. You can see. Watch this, Steve. And okay, the clouds clear away. Yep. Clouds connected, but watch this, Steve. Watch the sun. Bingo. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, there is a reaction taking place right here, Steve. 
I don't know what it is, but there is a reaction building. Now watch. Right there, you see the density? Boom. Whoa. So we're going to advance this as well. I have this down so that everyone can see. I go up here to my playback speed, and it is at 10%. I don't want to hit it because it will go down lower than that from here. Let's watch. Now, very important that you saw that those clouds were in front of the sun, right? It's the way it should be. Stop right there. These clouds are in front of this. These clouds are in front of this. These clouds are in front of this. And what's so interesting is that look at what's happened with that same little object. But it gets better, Steve. Yeah, the one. For the record, so everyone knows what's happened here. I'm going to show you what I have done so that you can see is here I've slowed the anti-flickering, all motion, and spatial blur. I've come over here, I'm in the negative colors, and I've gone over here and in turn hit the sharpen. So you can now see, you can see where my gamma is set, my saturation, my contrast, brightness, and hue. You can see where my sigma is as well so that everyone now knows what I'm looking at. For the record, what this camera is picking up, as all cameras do, in this particular filter, it is picking up heat. You understand, Steve? Heat. And the density of our colors are the heat signatures. All right? So the sun, obviously, is extremely dense, right? And right, that's why it's really black in this filter because it's the hottest thing up there. It is. Now, I am saying that this is not a lens flare, nor is this. In fact, I found this video compelling on several fronts. Number one, what we have seen in so many pictures around the world is not the lens flare, but it is, in fact, coming off this object right here. All right. Hi, everybody. It's the Steiger Olson Report with Wayne Steiger and Steve Olson. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Steve. Can't get enough of this uh, marathon key footage, can you? I cannot. And actually, I am the one pushing this. So for the record, I'm the one that um, am going to make this statement. Steve can make his own. But Steve, I believe what we have here is, in my estimation, the most compelling evidence that something is happening to our sun and subsequently our solar system. All right, now, Wayne, we'll present your evidence. All right. I have stills of this, but 